far, we got some interesting news here, people. Uh, Kate was out walking around, and she said, did you put an egg at the mouth of the Cayman enclosure tunnel? And I said, no. This is a Cayman egg. Holy smokes, let's look for more. Holy smokes, we got a Cayman egg. She just dropped it, it's still slimy. This is awesome. Maybe she's gonna lay more, what does she need? I gotta call my friends and find out what type of nest do they build? Do they need, whoop, there's the, there's the male. There's a fish right there that no one's eating, but there's the male. Holy smokes, we got a Cayman egg. This is amazing. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Oh, hello everybody. Okay, so I'm well underway here with the work. I'm making retaining wall and uh, we're gonna mulch this in and then I have to mix up some soil, some leaves, some mulch and some cocoa fiber. And I'm gonna make an area for this female to lay her nest. We've got a smooth front came in that dropped an egg right there. So I've been feverishly working to make sure that we can get her a proper laying area. The two are uh, together. And it's a very interesting situation because I spoke to my friend Al Fieri who owns that female. And um, he was telling me that, you know, it's so funny because sometimes you can have a pair in captivity in one enclosure for 10 years and never get eggs. And as soon as you move that pair to a new enclosure, she'll start laying and it appears that's what's going on so hopefully tonight this female is going to lay some eggs um what i'm going to do like i said is just try and get the area uh ready throw some mulch down some leaves all that stuff uh, we want her to kind of be able to scrape together enough materials to make a mound i'm also going to mound stuff in this corner which is why i've put in put up this kind of board to kind of hold back any material so it doesn't go through the fence. So I'd like to mound it up here. So first we'll do a layer of mulch and then I will mix the bedding and I'll get some leaves and all that stuff and we'll make a Cayman mound, a nest that hopefully she'll like. And then I'm gonna have to quit and go to the doctor. We got a little routine checkup uh, and then I'll get back to it. So that's what today's video is. Here we go. It's uh, about 105 degrees with the heat index, so it's just brutally hot and humid. Um, but I'm sure you don't want to hear me complain. Still a great job to be doing today. Uh, anyway, um, looks like I need more than 20 bags of mulch. Going to probably need closer to 40, so I got to buy more mulch. But um, I think it's looking good. I'm waiting to mulch that, so I'm going to plant a couple of plants up there and then mulch. But this is our bed. This will decompose. This will go into the sand. This will make it a little bit more enriched. Uh, then also I'm gonna mix up a special kind of um, mix with coconut fiber, uh, cocoa, yeah, coconut fiber, uh, repta bark, leaves, uh, some potting soil, really mix that in. And we're gonna place it over here. Uh, but in the meantime, I gotta cut it off now because I've got to head to an appointment uh, and I'll be back. I'll pick this up right after the appointment. See ya. Okay, I'm back and I'm still working here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna combine some of the bedding, the repta bark from Flukers, their Fluker coconut fiber and some potting soil here. I'm gonna make a mixture. I'm gonna moisten it down with the hose. We're gonna wheelbarrow it up and put it into this corner right here. And that's what I'm gonna try and get accomplished uh, here before the sun goes down 
because I want her to have a place that she can dig in and nest. I might even throw some leaves and stuff in here. So we're basically just trying to mimic uh, some good vegetation, some decomposition, things like that. We got a little rabbit hanging out with us here, a little marsh rabbit. How you going, buddy? Uh, since Lobo's been off at training camp, um, the rabbits are back. <laughs> Cute little dudes having a little nibble. But okay, uh, I gotta get to work, so let's do it. We're gonna get to work, we're gonna spread it out, it's gonna look cool, and hopefully she will lay eggs in this. All right, everybody, we got the cave, or rather, the caiman. The female's coming out of the cave, and we've got her mound ready. I've soaked it. There should be enough moisture on the inside of it uh, that should get her excited. And, you know, they'll feel with their legs when they start to dig uh, if there's good enough moisture content. And this, uh, along with the decomposition of the plant matter, is what incubates the eggs. Now, I, of course, am going to get these eggs out but we first have to hope she lays them and it may take a couple of nights. Um, so what I'm gonna do, uh, as you can see, there's the male, he's come on out. Uh, I'm just gonna kind of walk around every night. I pluck the uh, hibiscus. Look at this gal, she might be coming out. Let's hope she deposits some eggs. But every night I grab the hibiscus flowers and I chuck him in the red foot enclosure. There's the male, here's another flower. Uh, we mulched, but unfortunately I ran out of mulch. I missed. I misjudged how much I needed. Probably need another five or six bags to get it completely covered, but still a uh, lot going on. Pretty excited. So what I'm gonna do next is I am gonna just be patient and I am going to wait for them to do their thing tonight. I'll be back out tonight. We'll see if it happens tonight. Uh, of course, you guys are gonna be along there with me. You're gonna be along for the ride. So don't worry, uh, video's not over yet. Um, I just need to clean up a little bit from uh, kind of the work I was doing. And I think, hopefully, we'll be lucky this evening. We uh, watch this though, boop. And then it won't take long for the red foot to take notice of all those beautiful red hibiscus flowers. So, okay guys, see you in a little bit, bye. All right, let's see if anything is happening. It's about 10 o'clock at night. Let's see what's going on.
look at this, guys. That's the male. Yeah, that's the male. He's on the mound. Oh, for crying out loud. Where's the gal? We don't want the... There she is. Okay. She's out walking around. I don't see any eggs anywhere. All right, we'll just let them do their thing. Amazing, but she does have that fat belly. All right, I, I guess I'll just have to come back later. But look at this, he is on there. Hopefully she'll find her way on there. How cool. All right guys, I guess I'll come back out later on. See if anything's happening. Who knows? Ugh. All right, hold on. Okay, it's uh, morning. Let's see if there's anything in the enclosure resembling an egg. Hmm, that doesn't look disturbed at all. I'm gonna have to go in. And have a look around. Oh, let's see. Well, they're both in there again. They're both back in the cave, but no eggies. What a bummer. Which, uh, you know, I don't know. Maybe it'll happen tonight, I have no idea. But they're both in here. And she would be protecting this if she did lay in here. But they definitely walked on it last night, as we saw. But yeah, no eggs. Hmm. Who knows, maybe uh, tonight, I don't know. But this is the excitement of owning reptiles because they don't do things on your timeline, they do things on theirs. But um, no eggs at the bottom, just a Podocnemus unifilis. So no eggs down the bottom. We got that one egg. Um, I've been treating it as it's uh, incubated. We got, we got it uh, in the incubator at 88 degrees with sphagnum moss. Uh, because an interesting fact is the acidity of the moss uh, helps break down the eggshell over the time the egg is incubating and that aids in the baby, the neonate, breaking on out of it. All right, so we didn't get any eggs, but we got the one. So that's pretty cool. And um, where there's one more sure to follow, let's give it a little bit more time and see what happens. All right, guys, well, we didn't get any more eggs uh, in the last two nights. It doesn't mean it's not going to happen, but it does mean that I can't keep dragging this video on forever. So what I wanted to do was show you, where is that eggy? Where is that little eggy? Eggy? <laughs> Did the egg walk away? There it is. All right, very cool. So here's how I have it set up. We have some damp sphagnum moss. We got the egg halfway buried in vermiculite, and then this sphagnum moss, as I mentioned, will add a little acidity and keep moisture in, but it also uh, enables the eggshell to degrade enough that in time for hatching, the little neonate can get out. So that's what's going on, guys. How exciting. We got one egg out of our female smooth fern caiman. Um, you can rest assured that I will be making sure to be on the lookout and I'll document it as it happens. In the meantime, we're gonna just let this egg cook at 88 degrees and uh, I'll see you guys all again soon. Remember, there's a lot more videos out there. I'm whispering because the kids are all sleeping. It's very early and uh, I gotta go on a bike ride. But anyway, do me a favor. Watch all the other videos we have here on the channel. I think you guys might like them if you're new. Uh, and if you wanna go back a few years and see how we've all evolved here at the camp, you can do that too. Take care.